Hey everybody, it's WCWA Boss Man, and this is just my thoughts on last night's episode of Raw, known as The Price is Raw, because Bob Barker was the guest host. And I know you're thinking, Bob Barker, wrestling, Raw, something's messed up here. And that was my thought when I first turned it on last night. But... I like what they did. It was different. It was entertaining. It was fun to watch. And from calling wrestlers slash contestants and eventually AJ Pierzynski of the Chicago White Sox down to contestants row to bid on prizes and to give wrestlers chances to win things like Chavo Guerrero had a chance to win a to win a sports car if he beat um I believe it was Mark Henry if I'm not mistaken but anyway it was just a very entertaining program and Bob Barker, in my opinion, was so far the best host of, the best guest host of Raw. Um, I really appreciate and like the fact that WWE actually has done what they should have been doing for a long time now. And using a Raw before a pay-per-view to set up the upcoming pay-per-view as they plugged Breaking Point several times through the night. Um, as far as that goes, calling the concept innovative. Now granted, there haven't been pay-per-views where every match, every main event match as they've been saying, is a submission match but the way it looks is like they're going to kind of copy from TNA's lockdown concept they're doing the same thing with changing their I believe it's their October or November pay-per-view to Hell in a Cell where I assume all main event matches will be in Hell in a Cell. I understand that they want to freshen things up, they want to change things up, but this is, in my opinion, a gamble with it. So, we'll see what happens. I'm probably not going to be able to watch it on pay-per-view as I can't afford it, but I'll try to find some way to watch it and give a review on that if I can and uh, as far as what I've seen in WWE thus far I don't understand for the life of me why Chavo Guerrero is allowing himself to be put in these situations it's it's very disconcerting because Chavo is a better performer than a comedy act for Hornswoggle to beat on every week. He's a much better performer than that. And in my opinion, WWE should find something more appealing for him to do or he should ask for his release, one of the two. But if Chavo is staying there just for a paycheck, I somewhat understand that. But he could be used so much better. He could be used again. Instead of MVP feuding with Jack Swagger, Swagger, which looks like it could be good, it could be... Chavo feuding against Jack Swagger, or Chavo could feud against um, Dolph Ziggler for a while. 
you know, put Dolph Ziggler through his paces. Get him more ready for the push to the main event status than he is. I mean, Dolph Ziggler was having amazing matches with Rey Mysterio. Put him in there with a worker that's been around like Chavo Guerrero, you know? And as far as something I've seen a lot on YouTube and in the YouTube wrestling community, people have been talking about wanting to see Jericho take her food. Jericho take her food. Jericho take her food. Yes, that would be good for WrestleMania. But as far as now, and even trying to set it up now, uh, they need to keep going with this Big Show Jericho tag team angle. Wait for Edge to get back. And have Edge beat on Jericho for a while. And personally, if they can put together a good Jericho Undertaker feud for WrestleMania, then good. But if not, if Taker's got one more year in him, wait till next year. Have Jericho be the one to end the streak. So he can be the first person to be undisputed champion and the first person to give Undertaker a loss at WrestleMania and end his career. That's what I think should be done with that. Um, please rate, comment, give me your opinion. I really want to know it. And hopefully we can discuss this more through this community in the future. Thanks. We'll catch you all next time.